What up fish facts, Matt Bear Angler here coming at you with a new tutorial on the knots that I use or my favorite knots that I always use whenever I go snakehead fishing. So uh, I'm going to teach you the uh, FG knot and a uh, knot that I always use whenever I tie my uh, leader material to my terminal tackle. So first and foremost, you need your uh, leader line. So I'll be using a uh, fluorocarbon, copper line fluorocarbon that I got from Decathlon. Uh, you also need uh, your uh, uh, main line. I'm using a 100 pound bait I got from uh, Lazada. You also be needing your uh, terminal tackle. It's a snap I got from Decathlon. A pair of gloves and a lighter. First, wear your gloves. If you be working on braid, braided lines, I highly recommend you wear gloves. There we go. Okay, so get your main leader, uh, your lead, your main line. So get at least approximately like two feet of line, like so. By the way, this is not my original knot. I found this on YouTube. It's a thai, a guy from Thailand. He also does naked fishing. Uh, this guy over here. Yeah, that guy. Shout out to you, bro, because uh, I learned this the easiest way because of you. Fight around your pinky. Sometimes I tie it around my ring finger too, like so. And then the loop, you put tension on it using your index and your, your thumb. Like so. <coughs> then get your leader material. Under, under the braid, like so. So, what you normally do to speed things up, I hold this portion and then I loop it around manually. Again. So here, so here, and here, and here, and here. And I bite this portion the leader and then cinch it in see <coughs> there we go so do this like uh, I normally do this like 30 to 40 times Knots, the thicker the line, the easier it is for you to crisscross it. Like so. I'll do it one more time. One, two, three, four. You should have something like this. <coughs> there we go. Okay, to lock it in, make a half hitch knot. So you can do it either over or you can do it under. So we're gonna do over first. Here. Put the tag end inside the loop. Where the gloves come into play to make your cinching of your line a lot easier. Like so. For 
thinner lines, you should see your lines becoming translucent. That means it's really, really tight. Now, next thing you're gonna do is put another half hitch knot and do it under this time since we did over the first time. There we go. There we go. Cinch it really, really tight. have something like that. Okay. <clears throat> now the last thing you're gonna do is you make a risotto finish. So you make a loop and you're gonna do another half inch. But instead of doing it once, you do it seven times. So two So you can see the half hitch and then the initial risotto finish. Now, what you need to do is to unwind the loops that you made earlier. So you did seven, you should be unwinding seven. So one, two, three. Whenever you do the risotto finish, you include the leader in it. So you pull the tag in here. You should be having something like this. Again, cinch it. Cinch your knot. Always, always cinch your knot. that you need to do before you cut the tag ends is to try to drag crisscrosses that you made earlier. There we go. Okay, if you're gonna cut the tag ends, make sure that you don't cut the tag ends near the knot. So you put a little allowance, like that long. There we go. Like that long. That's okay. You won't get tangled in the the line guides. Okay. Now in this portion. What I normally do, it should be fine if you cut it, but for added measure, what I normally do is I cut it near the end, like so. So you should have a little stub in there. Then <coughs> get your lighter. Now make sure you you make this portion wet. You can add, uh, you can put water in it. What I normally do is the fisherman way. Put spit on it. So, 
Then using a lighter, just gently kiss it through the blue portion of the fire until it burns. There we go. Make sure. that you don't burn the braid. There we go. That's her FG nut. Really easy. Now, so this is your main line to your leader knot. So an FG knot. Now, what I normally do for terminal tackle is to get your snap, your swivel, or snap swivel, whatever. So, put the tag head in. Make a loop. <coughs> there we go. Okay, make a loop. Then make sure that you should be holding the loop with your non dominant hand. In my case, it's my left hand. So there we go. Should be having something like that. Then twist the knot, uh, twist the line rather. Twist the line like four times. One, two, three, four. Then put it inside the loop. Then you cinch it really, really slowly. What I normally do, wet my line, it's lubricated. Using my teeth, I grab on the a butt, the tag end, and then pull really tight. There we go. Should end up like this. Really, really tight knot. Now the last thing you gotta do is you cut the tag end. Again, like the FG knot. Don't cut the tag end near the knot. Make a little stub in there. Get your lighter. Again, wet your knot. I do it the fisherman way. A spit. Then gently kiss. There we go. See it? You should see it melting. Again, if you're not satisfied, yeah, do it again. There we go. <coughs> That's your terminal knot. So this is your main to leader knot, and this is your terminal knot. I'm not sure what this is called. It looks like an improved clinch knot, but it's not because you have to make a loop in the first place. And then you cross it, and then you twist it. So, yeah. But well, whatever it's called, it's pretty awesome. It's really easy to do. So I suggest you uh, use this knot for your terminal tackle. So there we go. That's a knot that I always use whenever I do snakehead fishing. Uh, it's really reliable. Just, uh, just a few pointers. Make sure the stub on the FG knot, you burn it, and then you tap it near the end of the knot or exactly near the knot so you won't struggle with whatever you try to reel in the line because it gets caught in the line guides. Now this one you don't have to bother, you don't have to burn this. That's okay. Let's leave it be. When it, uh, when it hits the water you get really freezy and stuff but don't mind it. As long as it doesn't uh, get unraveled or the knot gets undone, it's okay. Uh, a few pointers when using FG knots, as soon as you see your knot untangles, first sign is like 
you see the risotto not the risotto finish gets undone by all means reel it in retie your leader to mainline because I lost a lot of fish before when I started using this uh, I, I didn't pay attention to my knot whenever uh, a huge fish bites my lure it gets you know gets pulled in yep, I lose fish so also uh, I make sure that whenever I do the FG knot uh, I make sure I have at least like six feet of leader material so whenever I try to, to reel in and uh, let me show you my uh, you know, whenever I try to reel in, a reel in, I can see it near my uh, near my reel. So whenever I check on it, I, I can easily check on it. Because guys, always remember, in terms of fishing, your knot is the weakest link. So make sure that your knot is really cinched up and nice and tight, so you won't lose any fish. Okay, so there you have it. So that will be my. Uh, main uh, leader to terminal knot and this is your main line to leader not my FG knot okay so yeah oh by the way just some important announcements uh, right now we have 75 subscribers it's 25 subscribers away for the lure giveaway uh, the lure just came in so I'm, I'm, su I'm super stoked because it's the first time I'll be giving away a fishing lure on the internet. So yeah, it's 25 subscribers more. Let's, let's do this. Help me out and uh, hey, if you manage to get 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away a fishing lure. Uh, a 10 gram Proggy Warrior, a hollow body frog. It's really awesome. I like using them. I love using Proggy Warriors. Um, if you want to get one, I'll leave the links in the description below for just add water fishing oh one more thing uh, shout out to uh, Tom best of uh, frog eaters USA it's a uh, online community you can find it on Facebook where you can see all the uh, frog lure users all over the world um, you can get tips and tricks on how to use your frogs because for me in snake and uh, sports fishing uh, I normally use frog lures either it's hard body or hollow body or soft baits frogs awesome Okay, and there you go. I hope that you learned something uh, today. I used to get intimidated by the FG knot, but and since the guy from Thailand um, made a video, so yeah, there we go. FG knot, really easy. And this knot, I also learned it from him. It's really easy. It's really strong. It's 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 really easy to cinch. It's not just fishing, so I can teach the either the next generation of anglers or beginner anglers because we all saw our beginner anglers and we're trying to reach out to them so they can learn. Okay, so again, this is Man Bear Angler. Peace out, tight lines. Boom.